This was me at four years old. Now this was me at 10 years old. And this is what I looked like in my teenage years. And this is what I look like now. In years past and even now, I literally just walk out of the shower and let my hair fall the way it just naturally falls. I didn't really do much else beyond that. And if there's anything that you've noticed from these photos, it's that I've never particularly had an exceptional hair day. Now, I wouldn't say that my hairstyles in the past were bad. I also wouldn't say they were particularly good. I'd say that they were just vanilla. So today we'll be finding myself a not vanilla hairstyle. All right, welcome to day one of me trying to figure out what hairstyle works for me best. I call this one the Mark Sean, which is actually named after the creator of the first video that comes up when you search how to style Asian hair for men on YouTube, as any normal person would do when they have absolutely no idea what they're doing. I'm pretty sure actions speak louder than words, so we're just gonna hop right into this, and we'll see how it goes. All right, welcome to the inaugural edition of How to Style Hair by Josh. As you can see, my hair is somewhat damp and we're gonna lead off with the hair gel. Today, we're gonna be using American Crew and we'll be supplementing that do with my sister's hair dryer. So after rubbing it all throughout my hair, I used a comb to brush the front backwards and followed the motion with my hair dryer. After that, I proceeded to, and I quote, mash the back of my hair forwards. You know, kind of fluff it up for that volumetric messy look. And then finally, we're gonna redo the front and mash it all up again until I deem it satisfactory. And basically, I'd add the process of doing my hair to my morning routine. Let me tell you, about 80% of the time, I absolutely had no idea what I was doing. However, I decided to run with it and I chose to wear each hairstyle for a full day as a way for me to evaluate whether or not the hairstyle actually fit me. Kind of similar to how in a grocery store you hold an item for 10 seconds to evaluate whether or not it's an impulse buy, if that makes sense. Now, you might be asking yourself the question, Joshua, why three options instead of four or five? Well, research suggests that the three option format is the most optimal for multiple choice questions, which is something that I'm gonna dive deeper into later in the video. And now comes the final part. By this point, I will have worn each hairstyle for a full day, and now I can finally reach out to my inner network of people on Instagram. By the way, if you're not following me, my handle is down below. I'll leave it right here. And I asked them which hairstyle fit me best. But before I could do that, I decided to redo all three hairstyles because after all, my knowledge on day one isn't really comparable to my knowledge on day three. All right, so that just about wraps things up. That entire process took way too long. I basically had to redo every single hairstyle, reshoot, do it all over again three times. But the very last thing that we need to do now is send in each hairstyle and await for our results to come out tomorrow. So I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, so today's the final day of this video idea. So after 12 hours of leaving my pull up, the results are finally in. And at a 60-30-10 split, we have Exhibit B to be the most highly voted. And that's not to say I will wear Exhibit B every single day of my life. In fact, I don't even think I can recreate Exhibit B every single day. But regardless, I found this whole experience to be very eye-opening. We went from a vanilla hairstyle, just normal and just laid back, to a not vanilla hairstyle. In fact, I would venture off to say that we're at a low-fat pistachio flavor now. But for any of you who have felt the same way as I have, I hope you're somewhat inspired. But if you're completely content with the way you are now, by all means, no need to fix what's not broken. But if you've ever been on the fence like me, go and try stuff out. After all, we're still in quarantine season, so who's really there to judge? I mean, the worst thing that you could possibly do is post a public video about your progress on YouTube. But that's all I have for you on today's episode. Like always, if you're interested in my 51-week journey, please leave a like, comment, and absolutely subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Bye.